हेलो एंड वेलकम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अवधेश निरंजन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर आई एम योर मेंटर एंड योर टीचर सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट टूथपेस्ट द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स फॉर द फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ टूथपेस्ट एज वी ऑल नो टूथपेस्ट आर डेंटिफ्राइसिस मीन्स टूथपेस्ट आर ऑल्सो नोन एज डेंटिफ्राइसिस एंड डेंटिफ्राइसिस आर यूज टू कीप द टूथ और द टीथ क्लीन एंड मेंटेन द हाइजीन ऑफ द ओवरऑल ओरल कैपिटी सो लेट इस नाउ डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट टूथपेस्ट देयर फॉर्मुलेशन देयर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड एवेल्युएशंस ऑफ टूथपेस्ट सो लेट इस नाउ डिस्कस इन डिटेल टूथपेस्ट इज अ पेस्ट और जेल डेंटिफ्राइज यूज विद अ टूथ ब्रस्ट एज एन एसेसरी टू क्लीन एंड मेंटेन द एस्थेटिक्स एंड हेल्थ ऑफ द टीथ इनग्रीडियंट्स ऑफ टूथपेस्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द मेन इनग्रीडियंट इज एब्रेसिव एब्रेसिव आर यूज टू रिमूव फूड डेब्रस एंड रेजिडल स्ट्रेंस ऑफ द टीथ and to polish the teeth surface for example examples of abrasives are precipitated calcium carbonate dibasic calcium phosphate tricalcium phosphate calcium pyrophosphate insoluble sodium metaphosphate anhydrous dibasic calcium phosphate hydrated alumina these all are used as abrasive in the formulation of toothpaste another ingredient formulation ingredient used is detergent and other foaming materials these are used in toothpaste for their cleansing action these materials lower surface tension thereby promoting penetration of paste and helps in removal of deposits and debris so example of detergents and other foaming materials are sodium lauryl sulfate sodium lauryl sulfate is a surfactant and its hlb value hlb means hydrophilic lipophilic valence its hlb value is approximately around 40 uh, another ingredient is magnesium lauryl sulfate sodium lauryl sarcosinate sodium lauryl sulfoacetate dioctyl sodium sulfosuccinate monoglycerides sulfates and sulfonates these all ingredients or these all uh, used as detergents and other foaming materials another ingredient is humectants humectants are used to keep the moisture in the formulation means humectants in toothpaste are used to prevent their drying out they keep them in moist state they also impart some plasticity to toothpaste the examples of humectants are glycerin propylene glycol and sorbitol solution next ingredient is binding agent solid and liquid phases of toothpaste tend to separate in the absence of binding agents particularly during storage so binding agents disperse soil or absorb water to form viscous liquid phases for example natural gums like gum arabic gum tragacanth is used cellulose derivatives are used like carboxymethyl cellulose sodium carboxymethyl cellulose hydroxyethyl cellulose etc starch ethers synthetic resins are also used as binding agents sweetening and flavoring agents these are the most important ingredient in toothpaste as they have great influence on the acceptance of the product the examples of sweetening and flavoring agents are sodium saccharine or saccharine sodium sodium saccharine is almost 500 times more sweeter than sucrose means it is very potent but it is used in very trace amount in the formulations chloroform peppermint oil spearmint coriander caraway anise eucalyptus these all ingredients from herbal as well as synthetic origin are used as sweeteners and flavors in sweetening agents at flavoring agents 
minor ingredients are used like titanium dioxide, pH regulators, cellulose ethers and kerosene. The formulation ingredients or the formula for making or preparing toothpaste are these are the main ingredients for the formulation like calcium carbonate, glycine, tragacanth powder, sodium lauryl sulfate, saccharine sodium, peppermint oil, methyl paraben, propyl paraben and water. By using these all ingredients in the formulation of toothpaste, we can manufacture or we can produce a very good toothpaste. Procedure for preparation of toothpaste. Take half the quantity of water, add tragacanth powder and heat it in a water bath to get a gel. To the remaining quantity of water, add glycerin, sodium lauryl sulfate, preservatives and mix it thoroughly to get a clear solution. Weigh the required quantity of saccharin and calcium carbonate solution and mix it with the help of mortar and pestle. To this powder, add gum tragacanth and mix well. Add glycerin, preservative and sodium lauryl sulfate mixture to it and triturate uniformly to get a paste. Finally, add flavoring agent and triturate well. Transfer to a narrow mouthed plastic tube, seal it and label it. Different toothpaste formulations like anti-cavity formulation, anti-cavity toothpaste. To formulate this kind of toothpaste, we use this formulation or this formula by using these ingredients like sorbitol, silica, xylitol, silica as a thickener, polyethylene glycol 600, sodium lauryl sulfate, flavor, tetrasodium pyrophosphate, titanium dioxide, sodium benzoate, carboxymethyl cellulose, sodium fluoride, sodium saccharine, color and water and preservative also. Toothpaste offering whitening means teeth or tooth whitening toothpaste. The formula is here. We use glycerin, silica as an abrasive, propylene glycol, sodium bicarbonate, water, propylene glycol 600, sodium carbonate, silica thickener, sodium lauryl sulfate and color. Toothpaste for sensitivity or sensitivity based toothpaste. Uh, a popular example of this kind of toothpaste is Sensodyne which is available in market and is very popular. So for formulating this kind of toothpaste we use this formula. Potassium nitrate, glycine, polyoxyethylene, sorbitan monolaureate, silica, flavoring agent, sodium saccharine and water. Let us now discuss about evaluation of toothpaste means how we can evaluate various kind of toothpaste. So here are some of the tests like determination of hard and sharp edged abrasive particles. The paste was extruded about 15 to 20 centimeter length from collapsible tube of each sample on a butter paper. Then all the samples were tested by pressing it along its entire length by a finger for the presence of hard and sharp edged abrasive particles. Another evaluation test is determination of spreadability. About 1 gram of each sample is weighed and placed at the center of glass plate and another glass plate is placed over it carefully. Above the glass plate, 2 kg weight was placed at the center of plane. Avoid sliding of plate. The diameter of the paste in centimeter is measured after 30 minutes. The experiment is repeated 3 times and the average is reported for all the samples. 
Next evaluation test is determination of fineness. A sample of 10 gram is accurately weighed and placed in a 100 ml beaker. To this, 50 ml of water was added and allowed to stand for 30 minutes with occasional stirring until the toothpaste is completely dispersed. This solution was passed through 150 micron standard sieve and sieve is washed with water. After washing, the residue remained on sieve is collected and dried in an oven at 105 degree centigrade. After drying, the sample was collected carefully and weighed. Fineness is calculated by using the formula. Percentage by mass is equal to M1 into M2 into 100. Or this can also be like this. Percentage by mass is equal to M1 upon M2 multiplied by 100. So we can determine the fineness of toothpaste. Another evaluation test is determination of pH. Take 10 gram of toothpaste in 150 ml beaker, add 10 ml of freshly boiled and cooled water and stir well to make a thorough suspension. Determine the pH of suspension using pH meter. Next evaluation test is determination of foaming powder. To 5 gram of sample, 10 ml of water was added and covered with a watch glass. Allowed to stand for 30 minutes to disperse toothpaste in water. The contents of the beaker is stirred and slurry is transferred to a 250 ml graduated measuring cylinder. Ensure that no foam is produced and no lump went into the cylinder. The content of the cylinder is adjusted to 50 ml by adding sufficient water and temperature is maintained at 30 degrees centigrade. Then the cylinder is stoppered and shaken it 12 times and the cylinder is allowed to stand for a 5 minute and the volume of foam is noted for all samples. Foaming powder is equal to V1 minus V2. In this way, we can determine the foaming powder or the foaming power, sorry. It was foaming power, not foaming powder. Another uh, evaluation test is moisture content. 10 gram of toothpaste was weighed and dried it in an oven at 105, means 105 degrees centigrade. Then it was cooled. The loss of weight is recorded as percentage moisture content and calculated by this formula. Percentage moisture is equal to original sample weight minus dry sample weight upon original sample weight multiplied by 100. So in this way, we can calculate the moisture content present in the toothpaste. Determination of heavy metals. For this evaluation test, we accurately weigh 2 gram of sample in Gildal flask in acid mixture of HNO3 and per hydrochloric acid was added in the flask and heated continuously till the solution become colorless. The sample is then transferred to a 25 ml volumetric flask and volume was made up with distilled water. A reagent blank was prepared according to the above procedure. The standard of lid was prepared as per the protocol and the sample was visually analyzed and compared with the standard solution of lead. So this was all about the formulation, preparation and evaluation of various kinds of toothpaste. So thank you for watching this video.